Hey guys, David Turner here. There's been a lot of misconceptions about the proper way to weld cast iron. Two rules of cast iron. If it's larger than a loaf of bread, you want to weld it cold. If it's smaller than a loaf of bread, you want to weld it hot. Ever, there's no in between. The secret to cast iron is not to rush it, and prep is everything. So let's say for instance, let's zoom in here, we've got a nice big crack right here in this casting. First thing we want to do is we want to V that out. Watch your eyes. Okay, this is what we call a grinding rod. It's kind of like an eraser on the end of a pencil. What you're going to find is that we've made a nice little trench for this casting. Now, if you notice, I can put my hand on here, guys. We're not heating anything up. If I was to get in here with a grinding wheel, I would go ahead and I would mash a lot of molecules. Anybody that's had any experience in welding cast iron will say, well, I'm getting pinholes, it's hard, it's cracking, it's all of this. If you could zoom in a little bit, we've made us a nice canal right here for our weld deposit to go into. The next problem with cast iron is uh, machinability. We've got what we call 500 CI, Vulcan 500 CI, and it's a very soft nickel. It also has a lot of copper in it. Copper is a very good cleaning agent when it comes to impurities. You know, you don't always know what kind of casting you're going to get. Okay, zoom in here, guys. Watch your eyes. Just going to kind of lay in about half an inch at a time. Now we come in here and chip our slag. Put a bit of slag here. And then, believe it or not, the next best thing we can do to this is come in and peen this deposit in. But notice what I'm doing. I welded just enough to where I can hand touch this. Remember, if you have to pull your hand away, you're welding too fast. You're creating too much heat in this casting. That's what's going to cause your cracking. If I can touch this, I know I'm below 200 degrees. That's where we want to stay. We want to touch this. What are we doing? We're stress relieving. By painting, we're driving the weld back down into our canal or our trench that we created without a grinding wheel. So after it's easy to touch, I know I'm below 200 degrees. Can I keep welding? Yes. Do I want to weld in the same spot? No. I want to skip weld. I'm going to come to the other end now. Watch your eyes. The beauty about this Vulcan 500 CI is it's so smooth and you can whittle on this when you're with your pocket knife. You won't hear a machinist over in the corner cussing and chattering after you've welded a casting because he can't cut it. This will be nice and soft. Again, repeating the process. Chipping our slack. Look at this deposit, guys. Coming in. See how nice and soft? That well deposit's looking like a battered fishing spoon. Can I touch it now? Am I under 200 degrees? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little warm, but I'm getting there. So what do I want to do? Take a little break. Come back to where I can touch this. But right now, I'm under 200 degrees. What am I going to do? I'm going to stitch weld them and come back to the other side. Here we go again, repeating the process. Watch your eyes. Nice and smooth. Look at this. Beautiful. No pinholes, no porosities.